you know, winning four games, I guess, is a, is a journey on that as part of that. But, um, you know, certainly we haven't reached those goals yet. Um, you know, you don't know when you'll actually get the wins in the year. You know, you show up to every game and in the hope that you win and, and the belief that you'll win. And, you know, so far I think the guys have done an outstanding job, I think, to win the four games in a row to to exceed the previous best that the club achieved has, has been a great thing for us. Uh, you know, as a milestone on the way to some of the goals we've set for ourselves. They have won four on the trot for the very first time. There's no doubt about it, thus their place in the final six at the moment. So I don't want to really play that game of them having pressure and blah, 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 but I think there is self the expectation of them, you know, from playing so well in the four preceding games, you know. I think change has happened over the last 18 months. Um, you know, I probably look back to the, to the Rebels game at home last year and then the Crusaders the very next week and probably the lesson that we learned was that teams don't get a lot more skillful, a lot fitter in one week, but attitude makes a massive difference. And I think our attitude in those first two games wasn't a long way off, but it was enough off for us to say, you know, what is it that we're going to do differently in that third game? And I think, you know, probably really importantly for us is um, that's allowed us to, to minimalise all those... Uh, distractions that you can have both internally and also externally. You know, we've been able to say these are the things that we want to do better and, um, you know, we were, we were able to do it, thank goodness. I've always insisted that the role of the coach is well overrated, you know what I mean? I think we do lots of planning, etc. but what's happening out there is most of the tries are being scored off broken play where guys are just using their skills, you know what I mean? And I think that... Um, I do, I do think the role of how the, the, that influence can be overrated sometimes. So the idea that uh, you can out-coach someone, I think, is a little bit uh, egotistical from a coaching point of view, to be honest. So, you know, I just see it as one set of players against another and, and I suppose generally those who want to win more win. For Leo, Israel for Leo, one to beat, for Leo is in the corner! Well, look, I, I think the Waratahs are a very talented side. Um, you know, the first time we played against them, they scored six tries against us. The next time they played, they scored four more tries. You know, they scored a lot of tries. So, you know, to play well against them, you've got to defend well. Um, you've also got to put enough pressure on them with the ball. And there's different ways of doing that. I think we did that to some extent in that first game, but there are other ways. Um, you know, we, we play well this weekend. We walk off the field with a great result. We don't, um, then we're going to get our backside smacked. Well, I think it's pretty much the same in relation to the preparation as far as strategy is concerned. You look at every team on their own merits and try and pan out a strategy that you think is going to work. But look, at the end of the day, it's really more about just refining our strategy, like our identity, the way we play the game. Um, you know, where's our counter-attack line? Where do we start counter-attacking from? Where do we, uh, you know, how do we want to play off nine or ten there? Little details, we've still got the same setup of play most of the time. So it's just about making sure that that's really well, well I suppose... We bring it to the table with the intensity that's required, especially when you're playing away from home.